Human Training Centrifuge Execution of tactical tasks in high-G environments has a more realistic operational benefit than any other training system. Training with the Human Centrifuge conserves budgets and the fatigue life of costly front-lined aircraft. For pilots and the centrifuge, the HTC has the highest safety standards, which include sophisticated medical monitoring. The human training centrifuge can be used to improve pilot performance, build G-resistance and G-tolerance in a safe environment. Carry out simulated typical combat and missile avoidance maneuvers. Carry out training of tactical tasks in a high-G environment. Do full mission training with dynamic flight simulation and computer-generated forces. All of this in an immersive training environment. Desdemona, the revolution in simulation. Desdemona is the world's only flight simulator which combines a six degree of freedom with unlimited attitude control that allows sustained G-loading of the pilot. This makes Desdemona an extremely powerful, versatile and advanced tool for the motion-based training of commercial and military pilots. Desdemona can operate up to plus or minus 3G. Desdemona NG can operate from minus 3 to plus 7G and this is the first system in operation at the Netherlands Organisation for Applied Scientific Research or TNO since 2008. Significantly, Desdemona is used for dynamic and tactical flight simulation for fixed wing, rotary wing and fast jet aircraft. It has an extended flight envelope for enhanced training, upset recovery and loss of control in flight training, spatial disorientation training, and it also can be used for advanced physiological, clinical and aeromedical research, or for motion simulation for cars, ships, tanks and space platforms, research and development and equipment testing. Underwater Escape Training System When an aircraft is forced to land on water, air crews must safely exit from the submerged aircraft and possibly inverted aircraft. The aircrew must therefore know the necessary procedures to survive until they get help from the rescue services. For these procedures, the aircrew must be able to use their safety equipment efficiently. The training with the underwater escape trainer increases the chances of survival for air crews because it familiarizes the aircrew with the safety equipment and the conditions under which it can be used. The underwater escape trainer has a modular designed egress training cabin, a handling crane with a redundant winch system, rescue hoist training platforms, parachute landing systems, an environment simulation and shallow water training equipment. The underwater escape training system gives practical training of underwater escape techniques and training with different modules for fixed wing aircrew, rotary wing aircrew and parachutists. And this training causes and gives the efficient use of safety equipment under hazard weather conditions in a safe controlled environment. Helicopter Rescue Hoist Trainer the Helicopter Rescue Hoist Trainer is a multifaceted practical training device which gives air crews a controlled training environment. Using helicopters for real can be expensive and of course is dependent on good weather. The Rescue Hoist Trainer solves this problem. It is a safe and close to reality environment for crew training. Many organisations can benefit from this Rescue Hoist Trainer including rescue services, offshore and industrial services, the Coast Guard service, Army, Navy, Police and Special Forces. Training with the Rescue Hoist Trainer is safe, engaging and very much hands-on. More focused, helicopter noise can be muted or increased. It's very flexible, helicopter configurations and winch positions can be changed very quickly. It's possible for any time of day and independently from the weather. It's environmentally friendly, saves fuel, and increases rescue efficiency.
Basic and advanced ejection seat trainer. Ejection seats have saved the lives of more than 9,500 pilots. Although ejection is a life-saving measure, pilots can be injured when they eject. Therefore, it is important to do training of the ejection procedures to decrease the risk of injuries. In training with the EST, pilots learn the correct procedures and the correct posture for the ejection process. The advanced system is an important decision-making tool. It is used to train the pilots to make the correct decision when to eject. And the advanced system actually creates awareness on whether or not to eject, sharpens the decision-making process in case of an emergency, and has an expanded instructor station. This also has a fully functional cockpit, including a flight model, and has a visual system with a terrain database. The Night Fox Night Vision Training System The Night Fox Night Vision Training System comprises a computer-based training source. Flying at night imposes additional risks on aircrew. MVGs do not turn night into day and failure to appreciate the limitations and potential illusions involved with the use of MVGs can be fatal. The key to minimize these significant risks is a structured training program of night vision training, NVT, for air crews. With the night vision training system, air crews are taught how to recognize visual illusions at night with and without MVGs, minimize the risks of visual illusions and therefore disorientation, and to develop techniques for tactical night flying and improve target acquisition. Observe night flying in marginal weather conditions. The most important components of the Night Fox NVTS is a computer-based training course, which includes practical fitting and adjustment of MVGs using optometric eye charts, a physical terrain model board for practical training to compare binocular and monocular cues. The Night Fox Virtual Terrain Image Generation System the Night Fox Virtual Terrain Image Generation System is a standalone classroom system for interactive training in a dynamic MVG environment using a combined RGB and IR projection system with detailed databases and an advanced image generator. With the Night Fox VTIX, aircrew can be taught which MITCH perceptions are possible and how the environment can change, how to detect weather changes and a gradual reduction in visibilities, how to identify the problems of terrain critical tasks and visual limitations. The Barani Chair The Barani Chair is an affordable standalone system for the demonstration of vestibular illusions and basic types of spatial disorientation. The Barani Chair can be used to select and examine pilots demonstrate vestibular illusions and some basic spatial disorientation training, and desensitize and therefore reduce the susceptibility to motion sickness. AirFox Advanced Spatial Disorientation Trainer The AirFox ASD is a spatial disorientation training system with high fidelity graphics. This system can be used to demonstrate a wide range of vestibular and visual SD illusions. This system has a six degree of freedom motion system comprising a hexapod with an additional rotational motion axis for continuous yaw rotation. The system simulates aircraft motion realistically and can stimulate the trainee's vestibular system. You can use the Air Fox to train how to handle spatial disorientation situations, how to avoid spatial disorientation, how to act when spatial disorientation cannot be avoided. Do general flight training in visual mech conditions and instrument mech conditions and basic IFR training. Additionally, you can train formation flight and flight maneuvers, train night flight with and without night vision goggles and this demonstrates the risks of operations with night vision goggles, you can also record and debrief training missions. 
Night Fox Integrated Night Vision Training System, the INVTS. The Night Fox INVTS is a complete and modular solution for spatial disorientation and night vision training. It combines all three of our Night Fox products for an integrated training approach. The Night Fox IMVTS uses a simulator link to show the Air Fox ASD out of the window view on the Night Fox Virtual Terrain Image Generation screen so that many trainees can benefit from the training. The integrated training approach with the Night Fox IMVTS makes sure that the trainees get the most out of their training. To get you started quickly, the Night Fox IMVTS comes with a complete set of interactive instructional software and courseware. Hyperbaric and rapid decompression chamber. The most significant hazard of flight at altitude are the effects of hypoxia. When the oxygen equipment and cabin pressurization are not used correctly, hypoxia can quickly cause the incapacitation or the death of the pilot and aircrew. In the hyperbaric chamber, aircrew learn how to recognize the beginnings of hypoxia. The air crews also learn how to use the oxygen supply system and the oxygen regulator correctly to avoid fatal errors caused by hypoxia during flight. The hyperbaric chamber can be used for hypoxia training, demonstration of rapid and explosive decompression, simulation of extreme climatic conditions, the training of recovery actions and medical treatment Hyperbaric chamber. The hyperbaric chamber is a complementary equipment to the hypobaric chamber and it's used for the treatment of decompression sickness in emergency cases, oxygen treatment, and treatment for severe body burns and gunshot shock where applicable. Anti G straining maneuvers trainer. Correct anti-G straining maneuvers are important to withstand high G-forces and to avoid G-force induced loss of consciousness, or G-lock. These measures make sure that the blood pressure remains high and that blood pooling in the lower limbs is avoided. The AGSM is a low-cost training system for training of anti-G straining maneuvers and breathing techniques used on the biofeedback method. During this training, the AGSM gives the trainees immediate feedback on their training performance. This makes the learning process more efficient. With the AGSM you can do trainings of anti-G straining maneuvers and breathing techniques. Fully monitor blood pressure, ECG, pulse, EMG and other breathing parameters. Positive pressure breathing trainer. Positive pressure breathing in a high G environment is a technique used to increase the G tolerance of fighter pilots. With the pressure breathing rig, pilots can learn positive pressure breathing techniques. The pressure breathing rig has special pressure regulators and the necessary safety features to prevent overpressure to the pilot's equipment and to the pilot, especially the pilot's lungs. You can use the pressure breathing rig to practice positive pressure breathing techniques for G protection. Train the use of the mask, the vest, and the trousers in a close to reality situation. Pre-breathe oxygen before training in a hyperbaric chamber. Building Design, Engineering, Construction and Supervision Buildings by AMST are of superior quality, have a long lifespan and a short construction time. An important focus of our work is the environment. With our independent power supply technology, our buildings consume less energy. Our turnkey solutions make sure that you get the full functionality of the installed equipment 
a high system integration, and the best equipment performance. The services that we provide include soil investigations, architectural design, building engineering, construction and construction supervision, earthquake-proof construction, and autonomous power supplies.